So now we're in Conmee Hall. So this is actually the all male freshman residence hall. Um, it's set up the same exact way as Toxic, which is the all female, but we just have the showrooms in here. Um, so this is how it would look. There's two beds, two dressers, two desks, um, two, two closets. You don't have to worry about sharing or anything. I think it's a pretty, very good size room. I remember living uh, freshman year in Conmee. I was actually on the second floor up there. And as you can see, it's suite style as well. So we'll see the other half of, uh, the other half of the suite, but I want to talk about how the sink is in here, um, the vanity area, if you need to brush your teeth, shave, kind of anything you need to do is right here. You don't have to worry about taking up the bathroom. So now we're gonna walk through. Would you mind just getting that light for me, please? Thank you. Um, so we're gonna walk through, and here is the shower and the toilet. Um, so again, you're not sharing a shower or a toilet with the entire hallway, you're sharing it with three other people, your roommate and your suite mates, who usually you become very good friends with. Um, and then you come in here, so this is set up kind of as the female dorm. You can keep the beds bunked or debunk them as they were in the male room. Um, I remember, you know, my freshman year, I was doing this climb every single night, getting in the bed. My half of the room is kind of the top half. It was really nice. Um, one thing definitely to point out is that there is heating and AC in these as well. So the freshman dorms do have AC. You don't have to worry about sweating or freezing in the winter. Um, and again, two dressers, two beds, same as that set up. You can really kind of design it as you like. Um, I remember personally, my freshman year, we kept the beds bunked and we kept the TV here and we had extra chairs so that way people could come over and hang out and sit. Uh, we, we had more than ample space. Um, so we're gonna walk out here now. And would you just mind closing this behind you, please? Thank you. So we're gonna walk um, down the hall and we're going to talk about laundry. So one big thing that I remember my during my tour at the sales when I was a senior in high school was free laundry. You didn't have to put quarters in, you didn't have to swipe your ID card, it was free. Uh, there's two washers, two dryers on every single floor. So this building is three floors. Um, so six washers and dryers. Students are usually very good about setting an alarm on their phone or just keeping track of time in their head so that way they can come down, get their clothes out in time and they're not holding up the whole process. Um, I really enjoyed the, you know, the fact that these were uh, these were free. I washed my comforter, my sheets in there, so they're definitely a good size. Um, if you look towards the end of the hallway there, uh, there is the study lounge. So I actually remember that is the hallway, the first night of orientation, where I met those four friends. It was very good. So that's kind of historic for me. Um, those are just at the end of the hallway, kind of study lounges. Now here is the 24-hour lounge. Uh, there's a ping pong table in there. There's a big TV in there as well, a bike rack back here. There's, so there's plenty of more space back here for students to come and hang out um, if they please. Here up front is the RA desk. Um, so the resident advisor every single night, Monday through Thursday, will sit here 8 p.m. to 12 uh, a.m. and then on the weekends until 2 a.m. So they're there not, you know, not to get anybody in serious trouble, just there to make sure everyone is accounted for in case of emergency to keep everybody safe. Visiting hours, there are certain visiting hours you have to adhere to, but again, just to make sure everybody stays safe and everybody's accounted for in case of an emergency. Walking out. Um, let's talk a little bit about parking. So you may be curious, you know, can freshmen have cars on campus? What's the fee? Um, you know, where can they park? So yes, as you can see by this big parking lot out front of the freshman dorms, um, freshmen can have cars on campus. If they're a resident, it is $75. All you have to do is pay. It's a one-time fee. You get a sticker, you put it on the back of your car. Um, and then if you're a commuter, it's $25. Now, if you're a resident, you can park in your residence hall lot, as well as Bolera Hall, which is the big gym across the street any time of day, as well as the uh, Labuda Hall, uh, the Buddha Theater lot. Other than that, parking is kind of reserved for faculty and staff. If you're a commuter, you have a little bit more leniency. So now we're actually gonna head to the DeSales University Center and we're gonna stop um, somewhere in between just so I can point out some extra things, but we're gonna come uh, talk about the duck now. 